Now, the next part is alkene reaction with water. Water is H2O. Now, bear in mind, when you are looking at water, what makes up of water? It's your H plus and your OH minus ions. So, when I say H plus, how will the structure look like? Well, H, extend out. One line, because there's one electron that they will be sharing. And OH is actually O with two lines to show two electrons that they are sharing. One is shared with hydrogen, the other one, oxygen, will attach with something else. So let's give an example. Let's try ethene. So as you're watching, I want you to practice by drawing out ethene as well. Okay? Monkey eat. So how many C are there? 2C. And of course, what makes alkene alkene? Is their double carbon bond. Okay? Ah, let me not forget and keep on reminding you it's always the double carbon bond. Alright? So plus H2O. Remember, double bond, open up to become your single bond. Okay? Open up. Okay? Open up. Alright. Okay. So... Always bear in mind that you extend the legs, all right? And can you see this H? I'll bring it down here, all right? OH, bring it down over at this side. Can you see that this OH, I'm very specific, that I didn't put the H over here, but I put a H at the end because the O has an empty space here that will be attaching themselves to the C here. So if you write, uh, if you make a mistake, instead of writing OH here, you write HO, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because hydrogen is not the one with the two legs, you see. It's the oxygen with the two legs that is extending out. So please be careful about this. Alright, so I'm going to clean this away. Ah. And ethene plus water, OH, what is this called? Hey, we are moving on to alcohol. So this is actually called ethanol. I am so excited. Well, some of you that drinks here, okay, ethanol is exactly the main ingredient that you found that you can find inside our wine, inside your beer. All the drinking alcohol has ethanol inside. Now, the next one that I'm going to show you is ethene. Let's try propene. Propene is 3C, okay? Monkey eat proper. So 3C, 1, 2, 3. It doesn't matter where I put the double carbon bond. Plus H2O. Okay, bear in mind, watch. I'm going to copy the same thing down here. The double carbon bond is here, like I always say, you extend it down, you extend it here, bring the H over at this side, the O followed by the H, okay? And this is none other than my propano. I know what you're thinking, some of you will be saying, Miss Selena, can I change the position? Yes, you can. What do I mean by that? That means I change instead of OH here. Can I draw the OH here? Yes, you can. And if you're thinking like that, good for you. That means you understand that the concept is where this double bond, where this, is, where this single line is, is where I'm going to attach it to. So I can actually draw an O and an H here. And this part, I leave it with H alone. And this is called propanol as well. Of course, to make things look nicer, I would rather put my H here and my OH here so that it looks really neat, okay? So, this portion here is when I use alkene, which is ethene example, with water to give you ethanol. Now, this is called hydration or hydrolysis reaction. Now, when I add water, over here at this part, there's a few conditions that you must bear in mind, okay? 
So what are the conditions? Well, the conditions are this. You need to have burn at 300 degrees Celsius, 60 atmospheric pressure with phosphoric acid. So these are the three things that you have to bear in mind. 300 degrees Celsius, 60 ATM, not the ATM machine, uh, atmospheric pressure, and phosphoric acid as one of the main catalysts. So did you get this?